I'm your host, Jesse Singh, specialist in cardio surgery. Welcome to Medicine for You. Today we will be talking about hydrocephalus with Dr. Tully, neurosurgeon. Hi, thanks for having me on your show. No problem. Could you please tell us what exactly hydrocephalus means, Mark? Well, first of all, let me break this word down for you. Hydro coming from the Greek meaning water and cephalus coming from also meaning uh, brain. Now it does not necessarily mean water on the brain or water in the brain. It has to do more with the accumulation, extensive accumulation of the cerebrospinal fluid in the ventricles in the brain. Thanks. What are the symptoms of hydrocephalus and how could you know if a person had hydrocephalus? Good question. Well, basically, an individual who has hydrocephalus is an individual, mainly an infant or a newborn, who can simply not look up at the ceiling or sky, and we call this sunsetting eyes. Other possible symptoms may include drowsiness, vomiting, but not any ordinary vomiting, but projectile vomiting, where the vomit from the child's mouth goes into the goes to the reach of the ceiling or something like that. The classical symptoms for hydrocephalus is where an individual's head is unproportionate to their body. Back to you, Jesse. Thanks. What is the treatment and diagnosis? Basically, the diagnosis is fairly simple. All we have to do is get an MRI scan. Again, an MRI scan doesn't really help us. All it really does is just tell us a little bit about, the, like, give us a better view. It doesn't really tell us how to, like, do things, change uh, the way we work, basically. Uh, and the treatment is fairly simple as well. All we have to do is drain that fluid to another part of the uh, body. It could be the lungs, the heart, it could be the stomach, the liver, uh, wherever it gets absorbed by the blood. Thank you for your contribution, Dr. Tully. I am Jesse Singh, here with Dr. Mark Tully from Medicine for You. Goodbye.